Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, so if you have the KitchenAid mixer and the pin's falling out and you're like, oh crap, this is the video for you. So I'm gonna keep this video super quick, super short, so that means I won't even have chapters down below because uh, we're jumping right in. Um, I probably will find some Amazon links for some stuff down there so if you wanna help support the channel, use those links where Amazon Affiliates helps us out. Anyways, here is the base of your KitchenAid stand mixer. First of all, don't start with this. All right, if you're trying to put this back together, that's the biggest mistake is, so let's set this to the side. Now, and the only tool you're gonna need is a uh, straight screwdriver. And it's easier if you have a slightly longer one. This one's here a little bit longer than normal. Um, that's really all we're gonna need. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, it is good to have a towel to set down so you don't scratch things up. Okay, so we've got the main head here and we're gonna lay it flat upside down on the towel because of its weight, okay? This is where the majority of the weight is, so that's why we didn't start with the stand, okay? And our culprit to this problem is that screw right there, okay? So here's the hole where the pin goes through, and this screw right there tightens down and holds the pin in place. And I see a lot of these mixers where the pins, I mean mine, my pin kept sliding out, and it's all because the screw just either wiggled itself loose or just was never tightened all the way to begin with. Here, let's make it easier even. And see this pin right here? Well, that's what locks it in place, you know, from being able to open and close. All right, so let's, let's open it up so that pin goes down, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is, trying to keep things simple, is we're gonna make sure the pin easily goes in and out, okay? So right here, right now, if, if it sticks a little bit, it would be time to loosen up that screw just a little bit. We want that pin just to slide through. Okay, like no problem at all. Oops. Okay, I don't think one of my videos will be complete unless one, either my dog's got right up in the camera or two, I dropped something. Okay, so there we go. So, our locking thing is down. We know that the screw is opened up enough so the pin slides in and out really easy. There's nothing slowing it down. Okay, now we're gonna take the base and drop it down in place. There we go, okay. So we're lined up good right here. And now the pin should honestly slip through really easy. Just a little bit of wiggling. Trying to find the sweet spot there. Okay, so I actually lifted it up just a hair. Just a hair. Okay, now we're gonna try to come through the other side so we're just gonna wiggle it a little bit. And there we go. Now the pin is flush on both sides. So now, I'm making sure the pin stays flush on both sides because it just moved. We can reach in here. I hope you can see that all right. There's that screw I talked about we played with earlier. Some of you might have been freaking out earlier. Uh, you know, like it came out and you're like, my mixer's broken. Because these are not cheap mixers, but they are amazing and they last forever just about if you take care of them. And that is a super simple fix. So guys, thanks so much for hanging out in this video with me. Uh, please share this video to your friends, family, coworkers, whatever. Anyone, especially your cooking buddies, anyone who you might have one of these who might be having problems with that pin. Uh, so they can make sure they can either just tighten the screws so it doesn't do that, or maybe it's falling apart and you didn't even, you know, they hadn't told anybody yet. Uh, take a moment, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications. We always have new content coming out. Uh, check out our website and there's another video. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great one.